Hey, what's up everybody? How is it going? Welcome back guys. My name is Oshi Kuroso and I'm here for you guys to play some games. Today guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're diving back into the world of Call of Cthulhu. Um, we are just entering chapter 9. If you guys don't remember what happened, we just took Dr. Um, uh, yeah, last episode we were projected into the body of Dr. Colden. Uh, and as she found out some cool stuff about uh, Dr. Fuller, she went down to the, to the basement and she was... <whistles> injected with uh, some kind of something and now she's in danger uh, which we've seen through our weird astral projection uh, so we met Algernon in the library or in the bookstore he's going to come with us or he's going to meet us at the residence after we go ahead and try to save uh, Dr. Colton but we are currently just entering there now so welcome back guys now we're all recapped here I didn't read the thing uh, which I probably should have but I mean, I did a good job recapping it anyways. I paraphrased the heck out of it. Uh, okay, so now we know we gotta go into the basement and find the doctor. I pray that Colden is really here. And alive. Here and alive? Wow, you're asking for a lot. <laughs> okay, did I pick that lock? Diary of the pastor's wife. The diary of Reverend Wickywood's <laughs> Wickwood's wife, her husband John, built the first Hawken home on uh, called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They are among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. Oh, wow. diary. I thought I'd just seen a hand somewhere. Okay, let's put that away. Priscilla is here, like in the vision. Holden came this way. Oh, we just came through a window. <laughs> Yo, she's she's How all about like fuller, really. 1849. Okay, well, how I don't know what year it is right now, actually. So, but he looks pretty old in that picture, and there's obviously note. Is there any like detail to show us like what the date is in our game? I can't remember the dates from like the very start episode. I'm sure they were there. Maybe there's some clues in chapter one. Uh, 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 uh. No, no date in the Sarah Hawkins case there. Oh, we have five points available. Of course, we don't get to level that up manually. Uh, six for that, six for that, four for that, zero, and six. Um, hmm. I feel like maybe spot hidden is going to be really important for us. Uh, so let's start leveling that up and get up to level four here. Uh, we'll validate that. Yesy. And just looking about the case. Um... Just wanted to see if there was a date or anything here, like... I don't think there is. I, I'm sure it does tell us, but... Oh, okay, age 63. Okay, where is this guy? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah, she's 24 and she's a freaking mob boss? Wow. Francis Sanders, 47. Okay, where is this guy here? Age 52. So that's what it is. He's 52. So we can... we can. He looks a lot older than that. So in this picture here, if he's 52 and we go... He looks like he's probably about... You know, maybe... 45, early 50s there. You know, so you go back 15... It's the 1800s. That doesn't sound right to me. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must Enough find Enough time her. wasted? No, no, no. I need to investigate more. I need to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. I don't think we did miss anything. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? Uh, yeah, we'll read the book. So he's just got an occult book just chilling on his desk. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I've never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth. 
Without giving details on the mythology which it refers, its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Wow, that is that is a three dollar word there. Okay, will our guy hide in the closet? No, he won't. Okay, well I think I got most of the stuff here. What the Fuller <laughs> two. Fuller two. Small bottle of sleeping pills. I'll probably use on patients who have troubles fighting sleeping. Nothing in the lab coat. Okay, I guess we're good to go. Nothing in the furnace. Probably is something in the furnace. So we probably don't want to get busted by those guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's that's our goal is to not get busted. Pharmacy. Can we get some drugs while we're here? <laughs> okay, it seems like all the doors in the hospital are locked up. Except for the men's bathroom. Good, because I had to pee real bad. Yeesh. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. This place is a mess. Well, if only the water was running. Maybe she should have kept it cleaner. I think the door's locked. It's the music getting not What the hell? <laughs> At nighttime, the hospital turns into a horror movie. <laughs> Complete with fog machines and everything. What the hell was that? What the? Oh my god. What? What is happening to me? What the hell was that, bro? Do we have infinite torch right now? Infinite lamp? Maybe we do. What was that, bro? That looked like the Shambler again. What was that? What's that? As if I'd been transported somewhere else. What the heck? Yeah, it is. I just walked through a wall. Actually, it looked like a painting, to be honest. Different, like, symbols and stuff? Okay. Ooh! Got a medicine book for exploring around. Snooping where we shouldn't be. Sweet. Okay, here's all the patients' beds. So what if our guy is like just wigging out and this is what he sees, but it's not actually real, like there's actually people in the beds and stuff and he's just roaming around the hallways and people are like, what are you doing, dude? Oh, well, isn't it taking me down the same room? It is taking me down the same thing. What happened? Oh. Something has changed, but what? Well, the pharmacy is evil. Ooh, another book. Uomo Deloquente. Oh yeah, that's what that was. Well, it seems I don't know. Okay, <laughs> well, we got a new lamp. We have two different lamps for two different purposes, it seems. Okay. I'm like a lot of it lost, but okay, we've already been in the storage room. We've been to like everywhere here now. Oh, we didn't go to the toilet. Wow. 
Okay, well, this door had markings, so there's got to be something important here, right? Gotta be something here we need to do. Can I close the door? And that does something else? No. It's like a switch on the wall, make it like a hidden path. You have no idea, man. What's going on here? Okay, let's try this lamp again. Okay, we're in a bit of a puzzle here. Oh, we opened up the door. Why do I need to increase the brightness? Oh, that's why. Awaken and free me. No? <laughs> How's that sound? That sounds like a bad idea. Oh, I guess we're gonna do it. Okay, men's bathroom. Okay, this is the Elizabeth. Okay, we need to switch lamps again, I guess. Where's our other lamp this time? Hmm. Okay, what if we go through the wall here? Oh, where the hell? Dude, there's some bru- We're dead. We're so dead. Dude, I heard some pretty heavy breathing. <laughs> I can't- <laughs> Dude, I just love the ashtrays. Okay, we're looking for the men's bathroom now. Which way is it? This way here? No. Okay. Uh, this is it, but we can't do anything there. Oh, another occult room. Okay. What is that? Reach it! Ugh. Can't quite reach it. Okay. Nothing for us in here. Oh, cylinders. We could listen to, I don't know, some old timey music. I also lost my other lamp, so. Oh, there it is. Well, last time we had to increase our light source here, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. What? We're gonna die? Okay. So we just can't run, we can't run out of lamp, I guess, or else Big Batty gets us. Which is fine, I just, dude, I'm so stuck. <laughs> what do we gotta do here? So, the Shambler's back. It's interesting. Okay, so what we did was we actually, we went a different way. We went this way here. And we busted this way. We came back. There we go. We have another door here now. Hey, we got it. Yes, yes, yes. It is trapped. Oh yeah, Francis. Oh, not Francis. Francis wasn't. Well, he was saying that too, but also Algernon was kind of insinuating that to us. No, nothing there, man. Okay, let's go out and around. OK. 
Okay. Ooh, a, a toilet portal. I increased my brightness, dude. Didn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta get my other lamp. Oh, baby. Got it. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm doing pretty good and uh, excited to be playing this today. I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. Even though it was, it was, I don't know, I felt like it was a little slow to start. Also, on top of that, I was like a bit, I don't know. I was not, like, I felt like maybe I wasn't, I was rushing too much to get through the game. Not rushing to get through the game so much, but I was like, I skipped a lot of dialogue and stuff at the start. And that's kind of whatever. Ooh, jeez. That's not sounding happy. Okay, there's our next spot I see. And like now I'm kind of like just being more chill about it and we just kind of take it by, you know, take it by ear and... Yeah, I know how to increase the lamp's brightness too. Okay, that's weird. I'd seen the shambler over here. I seen something move in the distance over here anyways. I can't go that way. Okay, game saved you again. Nice. Confronting powers that surpass you. A lot of good auto saves going on here. The trail is also making a lot more sense now. Or we're we're able to more skillfully follow the trail, I guess. Where are you taking us? Ooh, all the way back. Don't! Oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay. So today's episode is follow the yellow brick road, I guess. Whee. Oh, there we go. Uh, nopey. And uh, nopey. Huh. Okay. We'll go out and around. Okay. No, we're done for this time. I don't think I can get back to my other lamp. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's getting dark, man. You hush. Ooh, baby. Okay, so we should be able to see where we're going then. Or we should be able to see maybe a little bit of something. Okay, Fuller's office. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I guess we're gonna head back towards Fuller's office. This is an exciting episode. <laughs> Fight tuberculosis! Obey the rules of health. Aye, aye, Captain. So after we get to pharmacy's reception, we're just gonna go straight down. Yeah, all the way down. All the way down. Okay, we're in this area here, that's cool. I see Dr. Fuller's office. Oh god damn it! Hmm. What up?
I'm cool. Are you cool? Because I'm cool, man. We're cool. Everybody's cool. Life is good. Oh, dang. Ding, dang, doodle. Okay, so we're supposed to go through there. No, that's not it. Through the wall and then back over here. So where the heck is over here now? I gotta get my stuff again. I gotta refill my juice. Okay. Let's take a peek over there again one more time. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay, so we know it goes through Fuller's office. And then through Fuller's office comes through Ward B or whatever this is. Comes through this one, goes into there. So now we need to find out what's in there, but that wall's blocked off. Can't get that way. So again, we have to come through inside a reception. Okay. That's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. Okay. So as we turn the corner, we're going to turn right here. And then we're going to turn right again and we're going to take a sharp right. Yeah, going this way here. But see, that doesn't help us. That's not it. Maybe it's not on this side of the building. Maybe it's just a false herring that it's on that side of the building. Okay, well, I feel silly now. It took me forever, but there's a freaking sign on the middle of Colton's floor. And I was in Colton's room like a hundred times. It looks like things are back to normal. Oh, good. Things are back to normal. Somehow we got through the gate, though. <laughs> this, like, teleportation in five easy, easy steps. I don't know how much of that I actually included. <laughs> oh, bless. Ah, excuse me. Um, there was, like, a lot of just, like, literally following the trail. So I'll probably, like, clip it together and just, like, montage through that part. Just because it was literally, um, there's just nothing interesting there. I spent about 40 minutes following trails, particle trails, but I could really just sum it up in about four or five minutes. So, uh, we're back downstairs though into the psychiatry ward where Colton or where Colton and Fuller are. Okay, we got a save game, so that's cool. What's? We're in an eternal hallway. Yeah, we got some nice music. Yeah, at least he likes to chill to some What's decent going music. On? It never ends. Yeah. I'll turn around then. No, <laughs> you can see it. You can see it loop through. Maybe we're just supposed to do so much of it. Yeah, just looped again. Okay, well, do we have to go like one direction maybe? I don't know. All right. Music's nice though. Damnation. Jeez. That's That's me. That is me. What's up me? Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Very nice, yo. Very nice. I got. Uh. Okay, dude, just take a breath. Take a breath. Sit down in the corner. Rock back and forth. Oh, never mind. We're good. Oh, is that uh, Dr. Pierce, Colden? I found her. I finally know what's going on. You oh. must live and find the truth. 
It is already too late for me. Uh oh. Cold. <sighs> What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Uh, probably. I mean, this guy's. I mean, he's known. He's not not known for his hallucinations. Please take yeah. a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> this guy Stop he's lethal. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Oh my god. What the f No. It can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. That's not typical mad this scientist mess. talk. Must stop. What's going on? Colden? What's going on? She is definitely not kicking. She is not in a good way. Okay. Oh, well, I guess we're good. Let's go. I almost killed a man, too, by the way. Good private investigator I am. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is normal. Oh, some catacombs in the hospital. Haven't seen this in a game like Outlast before. Turns out really well in that game. <sighs> what is going on? So what happened to Colden? Yeah, I can't. I'm like, I'm dying to continue playing this game just to see the story unfold. Um, I'm also interested interested to see like how the game would play if. Uh, if we didn't drink, like if we didn't make some of the decisions we've made to like read some of the books, drink the drinks, you know what I mean? Uh, I wonder just how many different outcomes there are. Yo, that's creepy. It's cool, but creepy. Okay. We shouldn't be surprised at all the blood now. I'm missing limbs. Yo, there's just a foot sitting there. Just a foot <laughs> and, a, and a half a leg. I mean, if you're going to use those body parts, you can't store them like that. You got to keep them cold. So who is this now? This isn't Sarah Hawkins, is it? God's name. <gasps> Yo, we found Sarah. What did they do to you? Probably not best to touch, uh, crazy. Can you speak? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a little toy soldier. Or like a little Tin Man Nutcracker kind of guy. Oh, it's from her boy's room. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was gonna move gave over. Gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no, no. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. 
Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. Oh yeah, she's crazy. Her brain's fried. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Oh, what? Valid sanity requirements? I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right, come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Dang, dude. Whoa. I was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Of course. Wow. You mean the guards? Uh, we left you behind. I'm sorry. I was just busy admiring your beautiful work of art in your cell. What that was a couch? Oh no. Oh no. You won't get far. Just you wait. Okay. He, he calmed us to death, okay? He just calmed us to death. He's just like, listen, buddy, settle down. Just just breathe. Okay. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. So how the heck are we going to avoid these guards? The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Okay. Let's follow her. Maybe she'll like, she'll lead the way. Okay. What the? Oh no. What do you do? This way. Shit. Oh God. Oh, we were just supposed to run. Okay. We were supposed to run away from them. That's fair. Okay, Sarah, you're too slow. We out. Oh, good. She barricaded the door. That's awesome. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, woman, you and your morals! <laughs> okay, that's fine. So now we have to kill the gas. Oh, come on, we have five out of five strength. Let's go. I'd Hercules that shit. A tool. Just Hercules it. Perfect. A poker. Yeah, you poker. I brought her. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Uh oh, Spadudio. Is this Chauncey? Nope, that's Charles. Oh, jeez. No more, you bastard! This is gonna be good. <laughs> you my wife, my wife, you owe me obedience. Yeah, I think not. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Uh oh. Oh, the gas was also flammable. Nowhere. Ugh. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> This is out of a bad hentai, I'm sure. <laughs> Edward! 
Nobody Edward. Tells me what to do with my wife. Get him! Get him! No. Nope. Just grab me by the nads. That's gonna hurt. No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? I mean, just think of. Throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. What's well, true? I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power, is what threatens her. This is pretty intense. What? Sarah has seen things. Has made things you can't even begin to imagine. You're doing a lot of shaking. Still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am. Well, yeah, because she's got a cute face. She's weak, physically, and mental. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. <laughs> Yeah, big plot twist is she's actually the main evil, has been in the presence of the and she like did this to Charles Even to screw with him. <laughs> she would still hear his call, and the cult will always be here, waiting for her. We, we can only choke for so long. Members, you are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape. She's just standing there watching, by the way. She's just like, oh, okay. They say that I will change it. I will save Sarah. Also interesting because he feels like he's going to save her. He <laughs> said, that face. Okay, gross. <sighs> she just takes his hand. Oh, we found an axe down here. That might do a better job. I mean, squid octopus are, are invertebrates, aren't they? They don't really have a spine, so... He'll probably just wake up later. He'll probably just sleep it off. <laughs> oh, boy! After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Oh, do we bury him? Or is this her son? No or parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. Oh, she's much more conscious now. The guilt. The guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. 
Well, Anything. he's gone. And they don't usually come back. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Ooh, that raindrop on the camera. Ooh. Again, showing me things. Things I never should have painted. So is that like Monster Charles? Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Oh man, it's getting intense. So this is what happened. Going anywhere. <laughs> so this is what happened the night of the fire. That's right. That's right. Beat up the kid. Big tough guy. Well, what the hell, dude? You don't just go around choking people and pushing kids. You just don't do that. That house caught on fire really fast, dude. Who's this now? Is that... Who is that? I can't... I don't recognize... It's Silas. It's the groundskeeper. Should have saved the boy. You always save the kids. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Ooh, uh, some deep stuff. Oh! Back into the deep. Okay. Oh, we've seen his eye last time. That's his <laughs> mouth this time. Hey, we gained two CPs. Baby! Okay, this time we got an official game saved. So... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, yeah, so the start of the episode was kind of slow, so I did, I will do my best to kind of chop it up and, and make it a little bit more engaging so it's not just literally us walking in circles for 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, definitely encourage you guys to leave me a like and really leave me a comment in this, the video section and let me know what you thought about this game. If you guys have any horror game suggestions, definitely encourage you guys to leave me those uh, in the comments. I read everything, so I'm always looking for uh, new games and stuff. we got a couple coming down the line, but still always looking for good suggestions. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely encourage you guys to subscribe, hit the bell notification, stay in touch with daily uploads on the channel. If you guys are really enjoying this stuff, I encourage you guys to contemplate hitting that join button and uh, becoming part of the family elite here or just a, a super fan. Uh, would appreciate that very, very much, guys. And if you guys didn't know, I live stream on twitch.tv slash Oshikurosu five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday. And would love to see you guys hang out. we got a good community full of good people. You'd enjoy it. That's it for today, guys. I'm looking forward to see what comes next in the story. It's just, I just want to see because it, it's leading us in circles. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.